on episode 17 of the Dergano Diaries. <laughs> it's a Monday morning and it is, it is raining and it's not rained a while for a while here before the west coast of Scotland. Firstly I want to thank you all for subscribing and coming back to watch me every week. I really do appreciate it and if you've not already subscribed, remember to subscribe to come back and see what I'm up to. Now if you watched my video last week and the week before that and the week before that you'd seen that I'm doing a 1500 meter trench for a water pipe and um, it's 3000 meters of pipe going in because there's two pipes going in. This week will be much the same apart from there is a few changes at the end of the week. I have a very exciting partnership that will all be revealed on Friday and I cannot wait to share with you guys it's something a little bit different but very exciting and I'm very excited to get stuck in about it. And over the weekend there could be other 143 and truck content so stay with it for that. At the start of the week I'm going to be finishing this water track. Um, finishing I don't think so because I've still got so long to go but we'll definitely get out of the good fields and out of sight, out of mind right. <laughs> I was telling you it's a miserable grief day. The main man, the boss doesn't even want to come out today. I let him out for two minutes there and he was hiding under the pickup. You don't like the rain. We don't like the rain do we? So that's where I'm just going to go to there. There's that roll of water pipe being um, rolled out. Graham's going to come and do that for me before he heads back along to check his lambs. One thing I don't like is um, cows and look at the next field I'm going into. They're all at the gate waiting for us just to go through. No chance I'm getting out with digger in the next field. Oh, another gate. For sake. It's on your side. No. down a bit. Take the number plate clean, clean off. Good job, you Watch your number plate. We're going to put the another coil on the back of the trailer and take it through the cows and I am not getting out the buggy or going with him, he's always that himself. <laughs> you manage that? What, are you just standing watch? Well, you were laughing at me the other week trying to do it. That's bit's not over there. So the route we're taking for this is just going to be straight through this field um, here as there's that old silage pit there, it's concrete so it makes sense to go through here once we get down there we'll probably I don't know what we'll actually do. If we go down by the road, it's going to be longer, so we might just go straight over the hill there, up where that tree is. There. But we've not thought that far ahead yet.
easy, effortlessly. I'm going to back it up and get another um, coil on. Well, after my cold dip in the barrel this morning, I'm feeling raring to go and I'm doing a little bit, something a little bit different on the farm today. The farmer asked me to come down and do a wee bit of track maintenance up the top here. Um, I've not actually seen it, but I said I'd do it, so just go up and check it out. Just get it done before I vanish away to them other fields over there. I'm not sure if you can see there, but there's a cable running there and that connects the two fences up to make them electric. If I try to open that with steel, I'll end up breaking it. I don't want to do that, so I'm just gonna I try to see if I could unwind it from the fence there, but I can't. I don't fancy getting electrocuted. So I'm gonna just throw some turf over it and that way I'll be able to track over it. This is what I'm up against. An absolute beautiful view, the usual. Um, and this old oak tree, oh, I'm doing oak tree. Some kind of trees falling down anyway. And um, it's half the road, there's branches here, there's branches everywhere here. So I'm going to throw them up, push that tree down, and then the road here cambers away. I don't know if you can see that there. So what happens when the tractors are coming over doing um, the silage and slurry and stuff, it's just pushing more and more into the field. So I'm just going to take that full edge away, scrape it back. I'm not going to rip up that because that is big boulders and stones and it's just going to make a complete mess. Um, the farmer's coming up with a couple of the planings and that should be enough just to build it up a little bit um, to save them pushing that fencing into the field. Quite a simple little thing but change the day up than a water pipe again. First of hose. My first ever one on the road hotel. What a mess. Um see where it's come from. It's gonna be in here somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is right there. Can you see that? Just there's a wee bit on it. I'll be able to get that one off there. Oh Jesus. Might be able to get that off myself. I think I should. Hmm, I might have to take this off too. I was hoping I could. <clears throat> Usually I can just take hoses off myself, but I don't think I might get in there. It's not a huge one just now because it's for the grab. I can still use it, I just can't use the grab. Um, so I'll finish off tidying up this little bit. I'll then attempt to get this hose off and get it replaced. If I can't get in behind all this, because I only have 
like very little tools with me, I'll just um, call one of the boys out and do it for me. But I think I'll definitely try and do it myself to save a quality fee and to save all that nonsense. Save some pennies. already passing our MOT so I'll um, probably try and get that hose, finish up here, try and get the hose off and then go and pick the lorry up and take it out of the garage and um, take it out of the way for them. There we are, that's it, bit all complete. So what I done there, the grass was going up here so I took all the stones and grass away and moved the road back over where it was originally. Obviously the branches hanging over over the years has caused the tractors to go further and further out so i done another verge to stop them going down that way and they can go around there. A lot more room for them now. Nearly like a motorway. Right, let's get this hose off. It is this one here so I think I'm going to have to take this off. I've never done this before. I've went and got tools from the local haulage yard along there um, because I didn't have any that size. So let's give this a go. And no judging because I, I'm an operator, not a fitter. Nope. Oh, was right first time. up there just so I can try and get in at it um, a little bit easier. I honestly don't know if I'm going to get this off or not. <laughs> I mean this is the only tools that I have. <laughs> I'm going to get out of that bit, it's a different story. Mm. 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 Only got a big shifter. There's probably spanners in the back of my pickup somewhere. That was pure luck. The only three I've got lying in the back of my pickup. Lucky little duck when I am. <laughs> These are just wee things I've learnt off my dad through the years. And most of it's learning myself. Because my dad's not always here to show me. <laughs> I mean, if it's hoses on the diggers, they're so simple to change it unless they're like in a quick kitchen stuff and they can be awkward. But the ones you can see are always dead easy. It's disgusting in here. I know you're all going to get on at me for not wearing gloves, but I really st struggle to find a pair that actually fits me properly and allows me to do this stuff. And also, I've watched my dad for absolute years, never ever wearing gloves. It's the way I was brought up. Here we go. 
one hose. It's a uh, right there. You can see. You see, it's burst there. So I'll just go and get a replacement one of these made up and fit it back on myself. Now I'd probably save myself a small fortune and call out fees and tra travel time alone. Um, so yeah, let's get tidied up here and go and get a new hose made up for it. All that hassle for that little thing and that little cut. Whew. Oh, I'm actually so glad I got that off. It's such a release, release, relief not having to phone anyone to come do it and not having to phone my dad to tell him what had happened. <laughs> he knows nothing about it until he gets a bill in for the new hose and he'll be like, um, what's going on here? So it's always a plus that I can do these wee little bits myself. Time to go and get a new hose and pick up the truck. Tidy up this shambles and return the tools first, right enough. <laughs> so I'm just in town now. Um, the haulage um, mechanics, um, Argyle Commercials and Argyle Engineers sh share the same yard so um, it's very handy for me so I'll just go and get the hose and then throw the pick up the back of the um, back of the lorry. Argyle Engineers, the ones that does the hoses, they are also the Takuchi dealers and that's who we got our Takuchi off. Um, so I am pretty handy and um, good as well. Oh. The lorry yard, it, it's always absolutely heaving. Where's the lorry? It'll be tucked away somewhere, no doubt I'll have to try it. Oh no, it's not too bad. I'll go down and get a hose first, I think. Got the keys. She's parked in here somewhere. <laughs> here she is. <coughs> it's so nice to like live in a place where like Everyone knows everyone, not all the time, but um, like things like this makes life so much simpler. I sat for long enough that battery thing's going off. It's dead. <laughs> Just from the garage, eh? Well, it's been a while since I've been in an FH Volvo, but I'm gonna use this if I can remember how to work it, make sure I get it into reverse, not uh, first gear. Their battery pack's um, buggered, so I'm just gonna take the unit over and get it started. There we go. Second time lucky. It's warm out there. That is all loaded up, manky, and ready for home. These pickups in the back there. Co driver, ready? Nope. That's me all done, back in the yard, and I've got two wee helpers who's jump in and want to reverse back the lorry with mum. Yeah, who put the ramps up? Both of you, didn't you? High five. Best wee team. See you guys tomorrow. I lied when I said I'd see you tomorrow. I ended up in the office with loads of bills to pay. Um, it's somewhere I've not been in ages. I need to get loads of invoices out, but I'm not doing that tonight. I'm just making sure I get everyone everyone paid to keep everyone happy. Oh, it's um, it's quarter to seven. I'm stressing out. I need to get this done and get the kids um, into their jammies and get them home and get them to bed. 
it's, there's literally not enough hours in the day for all this. It's Wednesday morning and you can probably see I am not in my work clothes and I have a day off today. Um, now it's not for anything nice, unfortunately I've got to attend my old uncle's funeral. So I'll be going to that today but I'll be back in the digger tomorrow. It's Thursday morning um, and I'm feeling absolutely terrible. I'm full of the cold and I've got to put this bloody hose back on. Hopefully it won't take me too long now that I know what I'm doing. But I'm going to get manky first thing in the morning which isn't ideal. Put the hose on one side there, I put it right under and back round. Oh my god. You know when you're unwell you just get out of breath at the slightest little thing you do, that's me right now. Right, so that's it. Back on, just going to tighten it back up. What I think's happened here is the hose has gone up there. And then when I've opened the cloth full, it's jammed against there and burst it. So I need to make sure that's always pushed down there or it's going to happen again. To be fair, that's not bad going. Make sure I've put it in the right place there. Yeah, same, that one goes under that way. So that must be not just had to happen, so I need to make sure that's kept down there all the time. So you don't get jammed again. Trying to get these two wee bolts here to line up with these wee holes. The ones underneath are now just in. Um, I thought it might be enough just to throw it over, but <laughs> obviously not. All good to rock and roll. Right, that's me entered the third field. Probably see here it's not it's not like it was in the other fields. It is um full of stones, boulders, roots, trees. That includes just these little bits of trees here and then it does go away. I'm just gonna knock the road tilt off and just keep on digging. Sorry if not got much to go about me today, I'm just feeling yeah get this rotor off. I'm going to leave it here. I'll put it back on tonight as well for the weekend. Well, someone's been a little bit cheeky and a little bit nosy. I think she's possibly planning a great escape out there to the nice green field next door. Totally stressing out that um, there's something arriving for tomorrow for part of the partnership and it is down in East Kilbride, two hours from us and it's not getting delivered today. So now I'm trying to find out the courier driver for this area to try and get it delivered to me first thing tomorrow morning. A bit stressful considering the people are coming over from across the water to me to do this and it's not even here yet. Oh, fingers crossed that everything works out. Uh, the joys of Brexit. So what happened was it got stuck in customs and then I had to pay for it to get released. But obviously that all that takes time. So now we're literally running out of time. The joys, there's always something. I've just hopped in the kitchen out. Graham's come down to Tighten up the rest of these pipes. Oh, there's Jesse following him. That was raging, he's not out there. Um, and then get out of this field. You can see there the rollers sitting there. The sheep are out of the field, the rollers sitting there, so the farmers want to get this field rolled. So we'll just move everything out of this field now and let the farmers crack on. Um, I got
go pretty far in the other field. What a difference it makes. We don't have to be careful about backfilling or anything like that. Um, of course, we'll leave a neat job, but we're just not leaving it as nice as these fields because it's full of rocks and boulders and roots and stuff through the next one. That was a trial that we've done in the last couple of weeks. You can't even see it now because um, we took that much care and effort back filling it and it, now that it's been rolled, what how good that looks. And this one here will be looking the same once it gets rolled and a little bit of rain in it too. So that's me all done. I need to go up to the digger. I've left my bag in the digger um, with all my stuff and I have to terrify the cows and look where they are. Um, how am I supposed to get that? <laughs> it's actually brushing itself off my tracks just now. Anyway, in good news, that's us out of the second field completely and that's me just about dug through the third field. This is the last field. It is a very big field, but at least it'll be not have to dig under fences or anything else. Oh, I don't know what to do to go get this stuff. Dig over that fence and round and jump over. Oh, I don't know. I don't have any... Graham told me to take a bit of blue pipe with me for a stick, but I don't even have that. We'll just send Dipper up. <laughs> I've opted just for reversing up. Where if they come over to me, it's looking at me into it. I made it. Oh, it's little things. I feel like such a coward being scared considering I'm living in the countryside of cows, but I had a bad experience when I was younger. And it just freaks me out ever since then. Probably should go, should overcome it at some point. Right, that's be done. I'm going out for dinner later on, so I'll catch up with you in a wee bit. Right, it's Friday morning. Sorry, I never caught up with you last night. I ended up rushing about to go out for dinner. But anyway, today is the very exciting day. Um, I've got a pile of stuff here that I need to load into the back of my pickup. Go try and do it without letting anything slip until I actually get there. Right, that's me empty. Let's see if we can get all this stuff in now. Right, that's me all loaded up. Let's go out and see what I'm going to get up to. What a beautiful day for it. Right, I'm going to give the machine a little clean out while I'm waiting for everyone else to get here. I mean, it's not the worst, um, but I probably should just give it a wee once over. Very dusty. Bobbles, they are everywhere in my machines. Cars, pickups, lorries. Well, if you've not already guessed, it is Hammerglass who I have partnered with. I'm so excited to be working with them. It's something a little bit different, but very important. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys how effective it's going to be. I've partnered with Hammerglass, a Swedish company whose aim is to get you all home from work safe. 
Yeah, we're going to come. We've come all the way from Sweden to take out my old glass and replace with a tougher hammer glass. Is that the easy part done? <laughs> what are you doing now? Sorry? What are you doing now? What? What are you doing now? Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, now we remove the window from the from the frame. Yeah. So this oh, is okay. uh, like a de deglazing uh, wire. So it's uh, like a saw blade. Oh, cool. Nice. So we saw it away. I hope that will work. <laughs> we'll soon see. <laughs> Dan, my YouTube hasn't met you yet. Say hi to everyone. This is, <laughs> this is Dan, this is the man behind it all. Saturday morning, um, yesterday got a bit carried away and I had an absolute amazing day with Hammerglass. Honestly, it was such a fun day. Um, sometimes I get a bit nervous filming in front of people and stuff, but they were just so like down to earth, good fun, and I enjoyed every minute of it. So this morning I am just out at Hammerglass, they're popping in before they go down for their flight home. I can't wait to share more videos of you all of how good that glass is. Um, for those of you who don't know, it is like like we put it fair, some through fair test yesterday and uh, yeah it didn't break it's honestly so amazing so i'll share more with that in the future the more work that i'm doing with them so they're just going to pop in this morning and take off the tape and just say their farewells and then they're going to head down the road and then um yeah that'll probably be me for the weekend so as always thank you for the comments the likes the support and remember and click subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss a trick see you next week guys <laughs> Not even funny. <clears throat> hey.